I'm Dr. Lucy Gilday, Chief Scientific Officer at Mary Kay. Our product philosophy is simple. We always put you first. We never compromise when it comes to the quality and safety of our products. We make product decisions based on scientific fact, not opinion. We push the boundaries of innovation to consistently surprise and delight you. We always put you first. For more information, please visit Product Central on Mary Kay Intouch. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to our Summer Glow product preview night tonight. Thank you all for being on, and thank you, guests, for taking the time. I know that your consultant is super excited that you're on here tonight to give um, her your opinion of seven of our amazing products tonight. So I hope you have something to write down um, so you can talk to your consultant afterwards about some of these amazing products. And we're going to kind of click through them. But first, I want to say, if you are a guest and you're on here tonight, we are giving away lots of things tonight. So please make sure your name is in that chat section and just put your name in there and who invited you so that she gets the credit for that also, too. But I just want to say thank you for being on here tonight. Um, and we're going to get rolling here. My name is Janice Trude. I have been with Mary Kay Cosmetics now for almost 40 years. I know. And I've been using Mary Kay for about 45 years. Um, I started when I was really young and now I'm really old. And so we're going to go through some fun products tonight. We always do some fun product previews and I hope you enjoy the products we're sharing tonight. You know, some of the great things that I love about Mary Kay is we recycle all of our bottles and jars. We don't test on animals. We don't use fragrance in our products. We use natural botanicals and we have 1500 patents on our products also too. So we're excited about the products that we're going to share with you tonight. Some of our brand new and innovative so I want to make sure that I share with you these products first. Now, the first one I want to share with you is just came out on the market about 30, 45 days ago, and it's hot on the market. How many of you, put in the chat section, how many of you have puffy eyes when you wake up in the morning? Well, fluid um, gets underneath the eye in the evening while you are sleeping for many of us and not for all of us. And we, we wake up with these puffy eyes right here. And so we had this new amazing patent pending product called Instant Puffiness Reducer. Now, you don't need a lot. And it's important that you do it in the morning uh, before any makeup goes on if you have the puffiness. And usually sometimes it's on one eye, but sometimes it's on both. I'm going to share with you first some before and after photos here. And then what I want you to do is be able to, I'll show you how to, how to use the product too. Okay, so here are some before and afters. You'll see the gentleman here. You can see the difference in the puffiness. I actually love Rachel Bond the most. She has like the puffiest eyes of anybody like underneath her eyes. And like I said, it's liquid that forms. And what the instant puffiness reducer, it absorbs the liquid underneath the eye. And um, you can see it goes away. You can see here to the, the left here, uh, her puffiness here and how it's gone. I have multiple pictures of puppy eyes here of people who have used it. And you can see the up above here and then the below and here and here also too. So it's an instant puffiness reducer. Now I will tell you, you do not need a lot. There's some really quick little videos out there, but this is the little, all you need is it, it comes like in a, in a little, in a tube and you little need like a rice grain. Can you see how teeny tiny that is? Now, when you're doing this, you don't want to rub it. Okay. So you want to pat it in the area where the puffiness is. So you're going to pat, 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 and leave it alone. And it will reduce the puffiness. It goes and it absorbs the liquid that's underneath the eye. It's really an amazing product. So for those of you who have puffiness now, I know many people have asked, well, I have allergies and my puffiness comes in the afternoon. I already have makeup on. You can still use a puffiness reducer. You're not going to get the perfect results. So you're going to get if you have makeup over it, you will still get results, but not to the same effect. So the instant puffiness reducer is an amazing product. Like I said, there's a really quick video out there on it also too, but this is our first product tonight. It is an amazing product. So for those of you who have puffiness, I only get it in one eye. I do not know why. Um, and some of you might get it in one eye or two eyes. And, um, you know, you could use it every day, but you want to just pat gently underneath the eye. Don't rub, okay? And then just leave it alone after you pat it. And it's amazing. It's instant. It goes away. So I wanted to say that it's called the Instant Puffiness Reducer. Um, so mark that down if that's something that interests you. All right. 
The next thing we're going to jump to is a glamour item. And this is a very hot item. In fact, it came out about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, right around the pandemic time. And it was so amazing that it sold out in 48 hours. And we actually launched also on Good Morning America. It was gone. And we did, took us a year to get it back. Now, I know there's a million mascaras out there. I get it. There's tons of mascaras out there. But one of the things that I love, and it's usually the wand and the product together. What I love about this is the wand. It wand lifts the lashes and it separates them also too. So it's called Fanorama. And I love the wand on this because it literally, the tightness of the comb pulls the lashes through. And I want to show you right here, the before and afters of this. I always love before and afters because, or you can see the difference here. So this is the mascara here. It's called Fanorama. So write that down. Um, and by the way, it's super important, you guys, at night to clean your eyes and have clean eyes before you put on mascara. You can tell really well that she's really got clean eyes right here. There's no mascara on there whatsoever, okay? Um, and you can see the difference in how it pulls through the lashes and separates them. That's what I love about this. And again, clean eyes, clean eyes, clean eyes. And I just have to say, if you've never tried Mary Kay's oil for eye makeup remover, one of the things that I love about that is it really cleans the eye because if you have residue from the night before, it, what ends up happening, the residue um, clogs the follicles. Some of you might be wondering how can you don't have those long lashes anymore. Now I'm almost 62, like in a few weeks, and my lashes are not clogged. My lashes grow because at night I literally clean them. So I use our uh, oil free eye makeup remover. I'll grab it right here. Um, I use our oil for eye makeup remover, which really cleans the follicles and allows the lashes to grow at night. That's an extra feature for tonight. And it allows the lashes to grow at night. So please make sure you do that because if you have residue, um, your mascara is never going to go on as well. And it kind of clumps and things like that. So make sure you clean your eyes at night really thoroughly. But the Fanorama mascara is an amazing mascara. Like I said, it sold out right away. It took us almost a year and a half to get it back, but I love the wand because it separates. Okay. So we've had instant puffiness reducer on the eyes and we've also had the fanorama. All right. Now let's jump to the skin. And I want to say, if you're not using the skincare with Mary Kay, please try our skincare. And the next product I'm going to show you is um, what I would call added features to a skincare program. I mean, I've been using Mary Kay skincare since I was 15 years old. Now, do I use um, other uh, other products? Yes, like um, our microdermabrasion, like our serum C and E. So I, I filtrate um, in some of our other products with our skincare. So for this product, which I love about this product, it gives you the brightness in your skin. And that's what I absolutely love about this product, okay? So I'm gonna share with you a little video on this. It's called Serum C and E. So it's live vitamin C and E which makes a huge difference. I'm hoping I'm finding it here. Um, I hope this is the correct one. It is. All right, so let's watch this. When it comes to skincare ingredients, vitamin C is the go-to antioxidant because it has so many amazing benefits. Vitamin C helps support the skin's natural repair process and helps protect your skin from these pesky little particles called free radicals. And whether you realize it or not, your skin is exposed to free radicals every day. The effects of free radicals on the skin shows itself through fine lines and wrinkles, dull and even skin tone, basically the early signs of aging. Vitamin C isn't the only antioxidant used in skincare. Another powerhouse antioxidant that helps protect against premature skin aging is vitamin E. When vitamin E is paired with pure vitamin C, it creates an antioxidant powerhouse that works better together. Daily use of TimeWise Replenishing Serum C plus E delivers skin that's firmer and brighter and glowing with good health. Panelists in an eight-week study saw visibly firmer skin, more radiant skin, reduced fine lines. Unlike TimeWise Replenishing Serum Plus C, this new formula is multifunctional. It does more than just protect your skin from free radical damage. Formulated with three different sources of vitamin C, this trio of vitamin C headliners includes pure vitamin C, which assists skin's natural repair process and supports natural collagen production. Alma fruit extract is a rich source of vitamin C found in nature. 
It has been shown to help support natural collagen production. Oil-soluble vitamin C has also been included in the formula to perform in areas of the skin traditionally hard to reach. Because vitamin C is naturally water-soluble, this additional source of vitamin C is included to enhance absorption. In TimeWise Replenishing Serum C plus E, vitamin C and vitamin E are encapsulated together, so the pure version of vitamin C is delivered to the skin through a controlled release alongside vitamin E. Vitamin E helps improve the stability of vitamin C. The new formula also includes our proprietary navy bean extract. Our own Mary Kay scientists were the ones that figured out navy bean extract has this amazing ability to brighten the skin. Before that, navy bean extract wasn't even on the radar of other beauty brands. This innovative ingredient further boosts the multifunctional power of this formula. Suitable for all skin types, this silky smooth, quick-absorbing formula should be applied evenly to your skin in an upward and outward motion. You'll know exactly how much product to dispense on your fingertips because you can see the product level change thanks to the window on the side of the airtight bottle. It also lets you know when it's time to order more serum, too. You can also use the SkinVigorate Sonic Facial Massage Head to massage the serum into your skin. Serums are always applied after cleansing and toning. It's important to allow the serum to fully absorb into the skin before applying the next step in your skincare, which would be moisturizer. If you need more convincing about how effective this serum is and what a great team vitamins E and C are, check out these before and after photos. In this picture, we see our panelist before she started using TimeWise Replenishing Serum C plus E. This next picture shows our panelist after four weeks of applying this serum twice a day. You can really see that her skin is more evenly toned, especially around her nose and on the apples of her cheeks. Our last picture shows our panelist's results after eight weeks of using the serum twice a day. Just look at how the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on her forehead have diminished, especially between her eyes. Her forehead also looks smoother and brighter. I'm really excited about this serum, and I know that you and your customers will be too. If you're ready for a little something more to take your skincare to the next level, then TimeWise Replenishing Serum C plus E will definitely get you there. Post your progress on Instagram and share your before and after pictures with us. Don't forget to tag us at Mary Kay US and use the hashtag Mary Kay. We are here to help answer any questions. Don't hesitate to send us an email to the address on the all right, you guys, I hope that that helped you a little bit to see a little bit more about Serum c &E. And I will tell you, I use this every day because I want the brightness in my skin. She talked about the little window that you can see. Um, so in the morning, here's just like my routine. I use my cleanser and I cleanse my face, okay? So now my face is super clean and my pores are kind of open to whatever goes in them and that would be the Serum c &E. And I love that because it's that brightness and that superpower. So I do take a little bit of my Serum c and &E, and I do, and I massage it into my face like this and then I leave it probably for at least a minute because I really want it to do the job and getting that brightness out. And I love the fact that we have lives, vitamin C and E on your skin, which is so important for your skin's health also too. So cleanse in the morning, serum C and E, and then wait 60 seconds and add your moisturizer. It'll give you that brightness, but I love serums because I think they're so important for your skin. And I've been using serums for several years now. And I think that's one of the reasons I have that super bright brightness in my skin is because of this product here. And it's Serum C and E. So write that down. Okay. All right. Well, let's go on to another treatment. And it's probably the most popular treatment that there is out there in Mary Kay. And it's, um, it's a unisex product. So it's good for men and women. Charcoal came into the world maybe three and a half years ago. And the word charcoal and charcoal mask and charcoal toothpaste and all that stuff out there. But activated charcoal, when it's on your skin, goes down deep into the pores and pulls out all the dirt. So it doesn't matter what type of skin you have. So normal to dry, this is like detoxing your skin, normal to dry, combination oily. And I will tell you, the biggest person that you should use this is men. Um, you know, probably I could say, and I know there's probably some men on here, so excuse me, but 
I will say that most men do not wash their face. You know, most men do not say, hey, where's my cleanser before I go to bed? No, they brush their teeth and then they go to bed. And like, we're all doing all this stuff, okay? But what I love about the charcoal mask is it really goes right into the pores. Now, 90% of our pores are right around this area here, here, and around here. Never put the charcoal mask near the soft tissue of your eye because you have no natural moisturization here. Now, Again, I love screen shares. And uh, this is a really good one too. And I love this. And I'm going to walk you through this because I think this is super important to know this too. So when you put the charcoal mask on, you're instantly going to smell the peppermint extract. It's an amazing product to smell. Um, you're going to love it. It goes right down deep into the pores. And you're going to put the thickest part around your nose, your forehead, and around your mouth there. You see how she drew those circles around your eye? Please take about almost an inch from here. Because the mask is a drying agent also too. And this area here has no natural moisturization. So you want to make sure that you always put it on like this. Now, this is what it actually looks like. This is my very favorite picture of any screenshot in all of Mary Kay. But I love it because it shows the beginning where it's kind of wet and sticky and, you know, that. And then it dries to this gray ashy color. And then you see these little spots on the nose. Those dark spots are the oil and the dirt that the mask is actually pulled from the skin. So those are the dirt and the oil, which takes about 15 minutes. So I always tell people, you know, while you're watching TV, go grab the charcoal mask, put it on your husband, your kids, your teenagers, everybody but the dog, and watch TV. And when the commercial comes on, or if there's no commercial, pause it, go wash your face. Now, what I love about the Mary charcoal mask is if you put um, on a washcloth and get it super wet and then put it on your face for a few seconds, it wipes off really, really easy. Now, I will tell you, it's also good for those of you who have rosacea. Rosacea is a skin condition that has this bright pinkish red color, and a lot of people don't like it. Um, so if you have rosacea in your skin, you've got this really bright red. What the charcoal mask will do is it will cool your skin down a lot. And so that will be really, really helpful to you. Now, I show you this next picture because, oh my gosh, in my almost 40 years of being in this industry, I have never seen so many people with skin problems since the pandemic. Because if you remember, we used to breathe out in the world and then it got trapped into this little mask. We've had masked knee, which is a form of acne, chappiness, dryness, irritated skin. Oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. People's skin just got ruined during this time because of the masks. So what a charcoal mask will do is will keep your skin super clean. And I just want to say, if for those of you who've worn masks or you have that situation, that's really something that you need to make sure that you're taking care of. So charcoal mask now. There is what, there's a rubbery brush. You can see it's a little rubbery brush. Um, it's only a few extra dollars, but I like it because you put the charcoal mask right on it like this, and then you draw, and then it never gets all over your fingers or your hands, and you have to rinse it all off. So that's what I love about the charcoal mask is you have this also too. So this is a unisex product. I will tell you, once you try this, and I think it's one of the greatest gifts. It's a birthday gift. It's an anniversary gift. I mean, it's, it's, you can give it to teenagers going away to college. Off to college, don't forget your charcoal mask and your brush. So there's so many things um, that you can do with this. And it doesn't has nothing to do with acne or no acne. It's cleaning out your skin. It's detoxing your skin. So this is product number four, and this is our charcoal mask. So please write that down. Write that rubbery brush down. That is my favorite to do also, too. All right, product number five. So boosters came out with Mary Kay. We have clinical solutions boosters, and these were to help and target specific areas. How many of you, and you can put in the chat section, are looking for targeting lines and wrinkles or hydration? If you ask most women, which are most important to you, lines and wrinkles or hydration, they're going to say pretty much 80% will say both. I need some hydration in my skin and I need to combat the lines and wrinkles. So we have these amazing boosters that have come out that are absolutely amazing that target specific areas. So again, I have something I'm going to have you watch because I always love just to have those little tutorials for you because it gives you just a little bit better idea of a little bit about the science behind science behind this too. So here we go. What if you could take your skincare routine to the next level? Having a skincare regimen is one of the best ways to keep your skin healthy and age gracefully. While regimens provide great skin benefits, you can further address skin concerns in a targeted way. That's where boosters come in. And in this video, Dr. Hines and I will walk you through what boosters are, how to choose the best one for your skin, and how to apply them. These high concentration, solution-specific treatments are designed to complement your existing skincare routine by targeting skin-specific needs even more. 
This means that you're adding them to your skincare regimen instead of replacing it. So you're boosting your regimen's broader benefits by targeting more specific skin concerns. Now, some of you may be wondering, what about serums? Both boosters and serums hold a valuable place in a skincare routine. Serums deliver advanced benefits, but if you want to address a very targeted skin concern, adding a booster can help take your regimen to the next level. The Mary Kay Clinical Solutions boosters are considered dermacosmetic, which means they deliver both beauty benefits and dermatological benefits, similar to formulas you'd find in a dermatologist's office or med spa. In developing the new Mary Kay Clinical Solutions line of products, we went above and beyond the normal process of testing and claims review by providing behind-the-scenes access to an external advisory panel of U.S. board-certified dermatologists to help validate the formula and ingredients. Now that you're a little more informed about boosters, let's talk about how you choose the right one for you. As we said before, boosters complement your skincare regimen by targeting a specific skin concern. If you want to focus on an issue like lines and wrinkles, you choose the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions C Plus Resveratrol Line Reducer. If your main concern is hydration, you may want to use the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions HA Plus Ceramide Hydrator. So if your goal is to address a single issue with next level benefits, a booster may be the right solution for you. Once you've found the best booster for your skin, you would squeeze six to eight drops into your hands and smooth the product over your face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Morning and evening, after cleansing and toning of your skin. Then you'd finish with your serum, moisturizer, and SPF if you're applying it in the morning. Remember that consistency is the key to achieving maximum benefits no matter what booster you decide to use. And whether you're trying to decide between boosters or need some help adding one of these targeted solutions to your routine, your Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant is just a call or a text away from helping you navigate the world of dermocosmetic skincare. Visit MaryKay.com today to connect with your personal skincare advisor and to learn more about how you can take your skincare routine to the next level. All right, well, let's talk about these amazing boosters, okay? So this is the target areas, and I use mine in the morning because I use clinical solutions with retinol in the evening. So let's talk about, I cleanse my face, and remember we talked about the serum C and E. So before I do my serum C and E, I do my boosters. So I do my cleanser, and then I do the lime reducer and the ceramide. Now, you don't have to do either, you don't have to do them both. Um, it's really up to you. If you're looking for hydration, you can use it also in the evening. If you're looking for both, then the line reducer would go first. And I would probably do about four droplets and it comes like this, like a dropper bottle. And I just put it in here, the four drops in here. And so cleanse my face. And this is the line reducer. So I put the line reducer in this area here and on my forehead and I wait about 45 seconds. Okay. And um, then I use the ceramide or I use the serum C and E, okay? So the ceramide is gonna give you more hydration. Now, for those of you who live in colder climates and it might be seasonal, so you might be using the lime reducer every morning and the ceramide, you might be using the, um, the one that has the uh, moisturization in it and hydrating in it for just those certain times of the year where you get really chappy and dry, okay? So I do use a lime reducer in the morning every single day. So I cleanse her, use the lime reducer, use my serum and my moisturizer. You're like, really? Yeah, and it, you guys, it really doesn't take long, but you know what? You wanna have really great skin when you get older, okay? You don't wanna look your age, right? So it doesn't take that long, but I want you to say you can target those areas. now. If you don't need the lime reducer, which I think everyone needs a lime reducer, but if you don't want to just use the ceramide, you can use that also in the morning, also in the evening too. The ceramide's really easy. But if you're looking for an order of application, the lime reducer goes first and the ceramide goes after it. And I want to show you a screenshot. I've almost got pictures, you know, so that you can see the, um, the difference here. So here is a perfect example of uh, Nikki Holnach, um, she used this product here for 10 days and you can see she used the line reducer on her forehead and then this ceramide hydrator over it. Okay. So cleanser, line reducer, ceramide, 
you can then just go to moisturizer or you can use the serum C and E. You can, you don't, you can skip the serum C and E if you want. It just really just depends on your skin. You're going to find out what works for you a little bit more. Um, I love the combination of the line reducer for me and then the serum C and E. Some of you might want to use the ceramide hydrator. So it really just depends. But the boosters are for those of you who want to target specific areas, okay? Like not your whole face, but like lines in here. And this is usually where they happen is right here in the lines area here. Sometimes they're a little bit here, a lot of them on the forehead. I really never care about my forehead because I bang, so it doesn't really affect me. But some of you, that might be something that you want to do too. So the, the ceramides are really good. The line reducer is also amazing. So if you need some help with that, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, that is product number five. Who remembers who what, what one was? Okay, so one was the instant puffiness reducer. And two was our Fanorama mascara. And three was the Serum c &E. Four was our charcoal mask. Five was our um, boosters. And now we're going to go on to six and seven. And we'll be done. All right, number six. Well, how many of you remember back in the pandemic, one of the things that was out there everywhere? In fact, Mary Kay, because we have a new $11 million manufacturing and distribution center in Louisville that had just completed about six months prior to the pandemic. Um, was asked to make hand sanitizers. Now, hand sanitizers are 90 to 95% alcohol. Alcohol is a drying agent. So what we saw first time in a long time in our industry, not only the problems with the face mask, which we talked about because the air goes back in there, but we saw hands that were chappy and dry that we had never seen before. And that's because we were doing this. Every five seconds, for those of you who are working like in hospitals or any kind of um, hospitality industry, you guys were hand sanitizing so much more. I mean, I don't think I hand sanitized so much more in my entire life as I did during that window of time, okay? And so hand sanitizers are very drawing to you. And what happens is it really created an issue with our skin. So Mary Kay has had a product, um, a product called Set Hands Out for probably, oh my gosh, I'm going to say... 30 plus years, this product has been out. And I want to share with you what we were looking at when we were talking a little bit about this product. Um, I know I have it on here. Let me go look for it. I swear I did. Okay. So maybe I don't. So let, let me go grab it for you because I really want you to see um, what this looks like. So it's real important. I show you guys this. So let me grab the set hands picture. Um, because we had a lot of people who had dry, chappy skin, um, and all that. So, all right, I found it. Okay. Now I'm going to move all these things around. Sorry. Um, the joy of the technical world. Um, all right. So this is what we saw out there. During the pandemic, um, the gentleman to your right, he works in the emergency room. So let's just talk about this. Not only was he using hand sanitizers a lot, but he was putting his hands in latex gloves, which were suffocating his hands and the pores of his hands. So they couldn't breathe. So you've got alcohol and then you've got a rubber glove that's like suffocating it. And you see the woman over here. She's got these pink reddish on here. We, this is what we saw a lot during the pandemic, a lot. And some people are still having repercussions of that. So our satin hands is amazing. And also, um, here's the other thing that happened during the pandemic. Shoe sales went down. <laughs> you know, my shoe sales went down because everybody was running around barefoot. But these three cracks here. And so this is a, a three-part system that I said has been around forever. And I just want to share our satin hands treatment with you now. I will tell you, if you do it to a guy, you do it to your significant other, he will love you. So there's three steps to this. And the first one is more of a protective softener. And it is an emollient product. Now, if I could describe this product to you, I would say it's like Vaseline. It's like a thick Vaseline. And you're going to work it into your hands. Now, we donated, I don't even know, but I remember like the count was over 100,000 hand um, set hand sets to different hospitals uh, where they had to put into their skin because we lose our emollients. Now, when you're using a product like this, I want you to be able to push product into the backs of your hands. This is where we had most of the issues here is with that and also on the palms uh, because of the gloves. So if you were in that place, then you know it wasn't good. So this is our protected softener. It is an amazing product. It is an emollient and you're going to push that into it, okay? So that's the first part. You're going to leave it on. Then this, and I have this in every single bathroom in my house, and um, this is the kind of an exfoliator, 
So don't use soap. Put this by every bathroom and every sink you have in the house. And what I love about the exfoliator, hopefully I'll get it going here. Sorry, I didn't have it on correctly on this bottle. Okay, so I have this and it has that little, those little granules in them. And so those were breaking open right here, the pores and pushing the emollient product in there, okay? So if you had this by your sink, you're just pumping it, um, you're using that and it's really great. Wash your hands with it and everything, okay? So you're gonna find the little tiny granules that are in there. Um, they have the little tiny, um, you can see it's like a grit, sand, whatever. I know that you guys have used those before and it does, what that does is it breaks open the pores to do that. Then what you wanna do is do not, this is what you do, you're by the sink, you grab the paper towel, which contains wood fibers. So use a washcloth or a dish towel and wipe your hands off, okay? And then use the hand cream. Now the hand cream has shea butter in it. Shea became a huge uh, product. Um, it's a little, little bit thicker, but you don't need a lot. And you want to be able to put this. Now, I would suggest you buy an extra hand cream or have hand creams, and I would keep it in the glove compartment of your car. If you are out there wearing gloves still and using hand sanitizers, I would say right after work, you start using things like a shea butter hand cream that is really will be great for your hands. So what I love about satin hands is it really makes your hands incredibly soft. But I think we kind of forget these things because, um, you know, we're out there and it's just, you know, it's common. So our satin hands comes in white tea and citrus, which is a botanical, or it comes also in fragrance free. I love the white tea and citrus. Sometimes during the holidays, we'll have pomegranate. We'll have lots of different things out there, but you will see a huge difference in your hands and of course, in your feet too. So satin hands is our sixth product for tonight. And I love how it makes you feel, your hands feel. And I think that you guys will love it also too. So it's a three-step, but this emollient product is super great too. Okay. The last one I want to talk to you about is remember I shared with you this part right here is the driest part we have in our face. And the eye area is also a um, part that if you call any aesthetic salon where they do Botox or laser or anything like that, they'll say the number one thing that people call for is an eye tuck always because we lose it there and we, we lose moisturization. This is the first place that a woman age right along here. And so on Good Morning America, two years ago, our hydrogel eye patches were launched. There are 30 hydrogel eye patches in here. Now I have that softest stuff in my hand, my, it won't almost open. Um, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And these are our hydrogel eye patches. There are 30 sets in here. What this does is gives you a huge instant boost of moisturization, okay? And we need that moisturization. I would use it two to three times a week. When they first came out, I was like obsessed. I used them four times a week. But I want to share with you, as far as moisturization goes, this would be something that I would get up in the morning. Um, and if, if I'm going to use my instant puffiness reducer, I then wait a little bit like that too. It depends on if my eyes are really puffy or not. My, it's always this one, never the other one. I don't know why. But while I'm on the treadmill, things like that, I put these on and it pushes hydration into the eye area. And I'll tell you, in the summer, put them in the refrigerator. You will love them. I would use them definitely twice a week, but I do want to share with you a before and after photo here. Um, and there's lots of them too. But you can see that she's got some uh, puffiness here and some lines. And what this does is it pushes moisturization. Now, what's the difference between this and the instant puffiness reducer? The instant puffiness reducer's number one priority is to dissolve the liquid that's underneath your eye area. That's what it does. This is pushing moisturization into your eye area, which you greatly need. And you leave it on for approximately 20 minutes. Now I'm going to get one out of here. It comes with a little spatula and hopefully sometimes they're easy to get out and sometimes not. So um, I'm going to show you how this works. Okay. Hold on. I'm getting there. Okay. So here is one of these. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in here right there. And I'm going to push the gel in and you're going to feel the gel that's going right into your skin. And it's going to push moisturization into your eye area there. Now, like I said, these were launched in Good Morning America. We sold 160,000 uh, jars in 48 hours. And it's really important. So I leave these on and you will love the way it feels, but you'll also love the way your eye looks. Now I'm not going to keep this on here. And why? Because it doesn't penetrate. Why won't it penetrate? Because I have makeup on. So you need it on clean skin in the morning or in the evening, but you will love these. And you know, you have 30 sets in here. So it will last a long time. So the instant puffiness reducer takes off puffiness has nothing to do with moisturization. Okay. This has to do with moisturization. I would use this at least twice a week. 
uh, because we really need to push that moisturization in there. Okay. So the first product was the instant puffiness reducer. Uh, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Sorry. The second one was the Fanorama mascara, which we showed you also too. The third was the Serum C and E for the brightness there also too. The fourth product was the charcoal mask, pretty much one of my very favorites and twice a week on the charcoal mask. The fifth was the boosters, where we talked about um, the line reducer and the ceramide on that. And then the um, sixth product was our set hands. My hands still feel amazing. You'll love that. I think because of what the hand sanitizers have done to our hands, oh my gosh, through the last two years, crazy. Um, and the, then the seventh product was the hydrogel eye patches. All right. So I'm going to ask all of you guests tonight to do me a favor real quickly. I'm going to show you a screen share. And what I want you to do is pick two products that I share with you tonight and tell me which of the two are your very favorite. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So these are what we used. Um, and you might want to take a picture of this um, so you can see the prices. It's a puffiness reducer 35. Serum c &E is 60. The boosters are 30 of each. Fanorama is 16. Hydrogel eye patch is 40. Set in hands. The whole set is only 36. Charcoal mask is 25. By the way, the brush is 12. Would you put in the chat section, if I was to give you two for free, which two would you take? All right. Which two would you guys take? All right. I love always seeing that. Yep. Instant puffiness reducer. Hydrogel eye patches. I always love seeing what you guys put in the chat section. You know, it helps our consultants also to know what your favorite is also. So um, you might want to take a picture of that. I love all your comments. You guys are great. Um, um, but you might want to just talk to your consultant. If you purchase two or more of these, you get a special offer. And, you know, I would just say, look at the boosters also too. Very, very important. We do do uh, virtual events every single Wednesday. You guys are so good at commenting. Thank you so much for doing all that. Um, hydrogel eye patches. Yes, they are amazing. Um, so these are the products that we tested and tried tonight. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to unmute you all. And we're going to go to a gallery view. And we're going to give away some mascaras tonight. We're going to give away four free masks mascaras tonight so do me a favor if we call your name will you pop off your microphone tell us where you're coming in from and then also um, tell us what were your two favorite products and again i just want to thank all the amazing guests for being on here tonight so i'm going to turn this over to our chat section girl and she's going to take it away all right here we go 